So we like doing fire and ice, which is switching between ice bathing and sauna. But if you're gonna do that, you kinda gotta get the sauna real hot. So we were only maxing out about 190 on our sauna and we have a little two person, almost heaven sauna with a Harvey a heater and it's the four, not the six. So it doesn't get quite as hot. But what we did was I have a little battery operated fan that I put on top of the sensor and we turn that in or turn that on while we're in the sauna and I also have a towel down here that's blocking some of the vent holes in order to get it hotter the other key too is when we do turn it on is to make sure that this is open and it's actually venting because sometimes it'll actually max out too soon and it'll kick the heater off so I make sure that that's open and we close it as soon as we get in so um, the other piece as well to think about is these uh, boards actually expand and contract depending on the weather and how warm or how cold it is. So the other thing that we do on a regular basis is we make sure to tighten the bolts on the side of the sauna. So just a few hacks if you want to get it hotter. We had it to about 250 the last time we did it. Uh, today was a little bit harder because it's been really hot in Houston, so we found ourselves actually venting that thing and opening the door today. So if you want to melt, this is how I do it.